What are the what are the special issues of, of writing for Oboe? <laughs> well, in this particular case, you and Mark said it would be really great if you wrote for full orchestra. Well, of course, the oboe, the oboe doesn't have a he cat in hell's chance of being heard against a full orchestra. So, uh, in this particular case, I've got to um, allow the oboe to, to sing out and to be heard and to use the orchestra uh, as a series of chamber groups or to thin it out in such a way that it, it, it comes through. Um, with, a, with an oboe like Stefan, you know, he's got a fantastic lyrical tone and can play very long phrases and providing his register where he's playing isn't duplicated too much by other instruments that he's going to be heard. Um, but there is the, uh, the inevitable problem that you know, he, you've got to give him places where he can um, draw breath and rest without losing the, the energy and tension of the music. Um, take advantage of that beautiful singing tone of which the oboe is you know, uh, a remarkable instrument. But also it can do some fantastic pyrotechnic things. And one of the, 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 the uh, ideas for the oboe, um, I've, I have written for, this is literally my second oboe concerto. The, second, the first one was for a very small orchestra of two oboes, two horns and strings. Um, um, and in that piece, and also in a piece for solo oboe I've written called Amethyst Deceiver, which is the name of a strange mushroom, um, I've used quarter tones, but not quarter tones um, in a random way, but quarter tones of inflections of a held tone. And in Apollinaire's Bird, you hear that at the very, very beginning of the piece, where as part of the bird's song, to get from an A to an A sharp, you go through an A, a quarter tone sharp. And uh, I've been working with Stefan on, on, on the best ways to make that audible, so it doesn't sound... Um, sort of sickly weird. It sounds perfectly natural but it has to be audible. Um, and so I'm quite interested in using uh, some extended techniques but not making the piece an exercise in contemporary techniques at all.